And then Cliff said, true. But I've graciously decided to give you all the credit since it's your name on all the requisition forms. Oh. Mr. Flintstone, I may not be in on Monday. Don't worry, Miss Stone. I'll tell them what you did. I'm sure they'll let you off easy. Well, I've been a very bad girl. But you have to admit, I was very, very good at it. Come on, do it for Mommy. Who am I? Bam, bam! <laughs> Those weren't the only changes. <laughs> Thank goodness you're all right. Well, I'm not going to jail. But it won't be easy getting a new job. What kind of reference is Mr. Slate going to give me after I destroyed his quarry? Oh, none of this was your fault, Fred. I'm sure Mr. Slate will understand. Flintstone! Sure, now he gets my name right. How did this happen? Well, Mr. Slate, it all started when the rubbles here wanted to adopt a baby. Not that! How did this happen to Cliff? Well, you see, Mr. Slate, the machinery went haywire and the rocks got all crushed up and that got mixed in with water and that came all down to hell. Mr. Slate, I'm sorry. Sorry? I love this stuff. I'm gonna name it after my daughter, Concretia. Flintstone, you're a genius. Me? Really? Why? Don't you see? Thanks to concrete, man can now shape his own destiny. The Stone Age is over. First thing, I want you to hire back all the men, Flintstone. We're going into production immediately. We? That's right. You are hereby promoted to president of the entire concrete division. <laughs> yeah, but... That's a real nice offer, Mr. Slate, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn you down. Yeah, don't listen to him, Mr. Slate. Fred, it's a great job, and this time you deserve it. Barney, all my life I wanted to be a somebody, and when I finally did, I turned into somebody I didn't like. Good grief, man. Have you lost your mind? This could make you rich. Rich beyond your wildest dreams. I was always the richest man in the world. I just never knew it. Oh. <gasps> so if it's okay with you, Mr. Slate, all I want is my old job back and my old life. Fred, maybe I did, Fry. Maybe I did. And two weeks paid vacation for all the men in the quarry, an annual cost of living increase, and those little packets of ketchup in the lunchroom. Done. Thanks, boss. See you at the company picnic. There goes the best executive I ever had. Fred, I'm so proud of you. And I'm proud of you, Barney. And I'm starving. Me too. What do you say we get some breakfast? Snake and eggs for everybody. My treat. Great. Barney. Yeah, Fred. Could you spot me a couple bucks? I'm a little short. Not this time! Whoa!